let us discuss some more problems on uh, prisms here is the example problem number five a pentagon prism of side 25 mm base and axis 60 mm rest on hp on one of its edges of the base which is inclined to vp at 30 degree draw the projection of the prism when the axis is inclined to hp at 30 degree so here we have pentagonal prism of side 25 mm let us construct a pentagon 25 mm sides 20 using a continuous line and thick line 25 mm 0 degree 25 mm 72 degree length is 25 mm angle is 2 times 72 degree length is 25 angle is 3 times 72 degree and finally 4 times 72 degree is the angle and we need to rotate this with respect to the edge since it's going to rest on of its edges let me take the edge to right hand side so here we have a pentagonal prism so now take projection line before that let us do the naming so this is a the base is a1 another corner we have b b1 c c1 d d1 e and e1 this is because prism has two bases and to find the center of the prism you can join one of its corner to opposite midpoint and you can join opposite midpoint the intersection of these two will be o in the bracket the bottom bottom center is o1 so continuous line and thin thin line from here to xy line b projection line and c projection line since the print view of the prism is always rectangle i'll go for a thick line directly the width of the rectangle will be this much and height of the prism is given 60 mm so height is 60. now let us take the projection of this edge here comes the a dash b dash is visible whereas the corner e dash is invisible similarly c dash is visible and d dash is going to be invisible the base corners are a1 dash b1 dash is visible whereas the e1 dash is going to be invisible c1 dash is visible and d1 dash is invisible at the same time if you take the projection of this center intersection you need to find the intersection of these two perpendicular bisector will be the center of the prism let us take construction line projection line till x y line first then followed by an axis line to show the cent axis of the solid so the base center is going to be invisible so let us mention o1 dash also in bracket and the top center is also invisible so o dash also in bracket now let's do the dimensioning of this the side length is 25 mm the axis is inclined 40 degree to hp move the first position using copy with respect to this corner and rotate the same in such a way that the base inclination we take the axis inclined 40 degree to hp so base will be 90 minus 40 that is 50 degree to hp
now i i take a little bit left hand side this one to manage the space a four size sheet will be utilized to take the printout of the copy take printout copy so the diagram should not go out of the sheet keep switch off the copy option and take slightly left hand side okay so now we do dimensioning of this the height of the axis is 60 and take projection line 0.13 let us take the base projection first so a1 this is the a1 b1 b1 is still here can join this b1 and this with a1 then we have c1 so c1 projection is till here similarly we have three vertical lines a a dash b dash c dash let us take horizontal projection e1 will be till this and e projection will be till here similarly d the end point of this line is the d d1 is runs on this line so let us take zero degree and d will be till here and this is the projection of a The top pentagon will be visible that is A, B, C, D, and E. The outermost edges that is this is E1, A1, B1 are invisible, visible, whereas the resting edge will be always invisible. So let us mention C1 in bracket and D1 in bracket. So to show the visible line, we will make use of thick line. The top pentagon will be visible. We look from top view, the upper pentagon is visible. So we need to join this by continuous line, thick line. And the outermost edges will be always visible. So E1, A1, this B1 back to A. As well, this A, A1 also visible. So A, A1 is going to be visible line. Hence, the invisible edges are the resting edge. I take a little bit zoom. This D1 and C1 back to B1. This D D1 is also going to be invisible because that is at the rear end of the pentagon. Let us take projection line of the axis also. The thickness is 0.13 this is O projection of O will be till here and O1 will be till here draw a axis line from O to O1 so if you look from top O is visible whereas the O1 is going to be invisible We need to do dimensioning for this the axis incline 40 degree to hp so this completes the second condition well, the third condition is the axis is inclined to hp 40 degrees over the base inclination the base edge is inclined 30 degree to vp so we need to draw a 30 degree to vp let us take a line 30 degree line simply i will draw a continuous line and the angle between these two must be 30 degree so 
we need to move this second portion top view with respect to this c1 d1 the resting edge i need to place it on this 30 degree line make sure while moving switch on copy option with respect to d1 and rotate the same the entire thing has to select and rotate in such a way that this d1 and c1 we should come on 30 degree line Now let us go for projection line 0.13 a1 projection a1 is still here let us join with a dash a1 dash similarly b dash b1 dash c1 dash i take a little bit zoom here for clarity so c1 is this endpoint and c1 till xy line c1 and d1 both are on xy line itself e1 is going to be on this line so let us call the names first this is a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash is at this right junction d1 dash e1 dash we completed similarly now we need to take the projection of this a with this topmost corner a dash then b with b dash then c ninety degree c dash d d dash e and e dash will come at this junction let's call the names a dash d dash D dash is this lost end point D dash and E dash right so now to find the visible and invisible line since the base is nearer to the observer the base pentagon is going to be visible so join the base pentagon see the C point is the c projection we need to take care properly c1 we have taken till this end point the, this line end point here this is the c1 and d1 e1 and back to a1 the always stores outermost edges are visible so e dash a dash b dash c dash whether this c dash is placed properly no so here we have not taken this line properly i delete i take little bit zoom over here this v dash should be joined with this end point so c dash back to c1 dash b dash and b1 dash is also outermost edges a dash and a1 dash is also outermost edge the remaining R is going to be invisible edges that is E dash with the D dash. Here we have D dash join with C dash. 
and D, D1 dash also is going to be invisible. This corner D dash is invisible. So we need to put this in bracket. Now we can take a projection of uh, axis also. Let us take axis 0.1 thickness. This is O and projection of O is here. And projection of O1, this is the end point. So this is O1 line. join the o1 is o1 dash is going to be visible and this o dash is going to be invisible join axis line from this o dash to o1 dash so this is the solution for example number problem number five let us move on to example problem number six. So here we have a pentagon prism 25 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length pressed on HP on one of its edges of the base. Draw the projection of the prism when the axis is inclined to HP at 40 degree and VP at 30 degree. So since the first two positions are similar to problem number five, that is it's resting on one of its edges on HP and axis is inclined for 40 degree to HP. So what we have this, the same thing is here. So I'll make use of this same data to minimize the time. Now, the third condition is going to be what? The axis is inclined 30 degree to VP also. So the same axis which is inclined to HP 40 degree and is inclined 30 degree to VP. So line is inclined to both HP and VP. Therefore, we need to take a locus. We need to construct the locus. We need to find the apparent angle. So we'll draw the true true angle 30 degree first. Later, place a point of thickness 2 mm on this 30 degree line. Take arc by center point method. Starting, keeping this point as the center, the original axis is 60 mm, cut an arc. And this arc thickness must be thin. Now draw a horizontal line from this intersection find the apparent angle apparent length of the axis so the apparent length of the axis is 45.96 so draw one more arc keeping at the same center the radius would be 49.96 cut an arc then join this with the center find the apparent angle 43 degree we are getting for apparent angle in fact the line is not joined properly this is the end point we need to join with this center and now the apparent angle is 41 degree let us move the second condition uh, top view the second position top view Make sure the copy is on with respect to O and let us place it on this end point and immediately I go for rotate in such a way that this O, O1 should come on the apparent angle 41 degree line.
okay so let us take projection lines 0.13 line the a1 this is the a1 b1 with b1 C1 is still XY line. I take zoom the area command from this endpoint. I can join till XY line, and D1 is also comes till XY line. E1, B1, both are runs on same line. So let us call the names. This is a1 dash, b1 dash, c1 dash, d1 dash, e1 dash. Continue the projection of the another face of the pentagon. This is a a dash, b b dash. C C dash position of D and C both are same E. So let us call the names now. The position of this is A B C and the corner D is going to be invisible. We came to know in previous problem and e dash. In fact, every alphabet should consist of dash. So this is a dash. This is b dash. D dash. So we need to find the visible and invisible edges. Go for thick line. Since the base is nearer to observer, the base pentagon is, will be visible. This is C1, D1, and A1 back to A1. Outermost edges are visible. So join this A1 dash with a b c and c1 dash b with b1 dash e with e1 dash is going to be invisible since it's coming inside the solid so e e1 dash is going to be invisible so these are all the another face of the prism pentagon is going to be invisible so dd1 is also invisible edge so since this point e dash is come inside the solid e dash also should mention in bracket you need to mention e dash also in bracket let us take projection of O also. Projection of O axis. And this should be thin line, sorry, continuous line and 0.13 line. And this line is continuous line, 0.13 line take continuous line projection for another line ox o1 so here we have o1 and join this join axis line 0.13 over to o1 
since the base is visible the o1 is going to be visible o1 dash but the o dash is going to be invisible so this is the solution for example problem number six thank you